our first meet was at Emporia State in uh, Emporia, Kansas, and it was beautiful. Uh, perfect weather, uh, great um, competition, probably the best competition in Division II that weekend. Uh, we had an overall great meet by everyone. Um, our relays ran extremely well. Uh, the long hurdles, short hurdles, uh, both groups did really well. Our jumpers were able to get outside and deal with the elements. And all in all, it was, a, it was a, from a weather standpoint, it was perfect. And competition, it was perfect. So it was a good way to start the, the season. And then we ran into some uh, unfortunate weather where we had to have a couple meets canceled. Uh, this past weekend, we um, were able to find a meet that, that we could get around the track, and that was our number one goal. Um, I would say our short sprints, our short hurdles uh, ran the best just because of the conditions. Uh, really moving in the right direction towards conference in a couple weeks. Uh, the standout person was Dave Brayton, though, a senior uh, pole vaulter. He uh, originally qualified in, in the vault with a huge PR. So things are coming along great for Dave. And we expect uh, nothing but, but great things from him. He is definitely a leader on and off the track. And uh, he's definitely a go-to guy you want to have on your side for conference. Uh, just with the weather that, that's come up so far this year, you know, all, all spring sports have had to deal with it. All of our competition, for the most part, has had to deal with it. You know, as far from a training standpoint, we're probably three, four weeks behind where we should be at this time. Um, and right now, to, to combat that, we just have to rest more. Uh, dealing with a really hard surface and, and training indoors and not being able to get outdoors, especially for, you know, some of the long throws, long hurdles, uh, just the jumps in general, dealing with wind conditions and sprints, too. Um, it's it's more of a trying to, to keep the law, little aches and pains from creeping into something more serious, and you know when in when in doubt you rest a day or take it a little bit lighter, um, and just dealing with what you have. Um, we do have a nice indoor facility, and we, we try to use it as well as we can. Um, but we're looking forward to uh, coming up uh, this week and hopefully getting outside for the first time. You know, and just making sure the kids, you know, stay on top of the, the recuperation and, and eating eating well, rest well, especially with finals around the corner, making sure they're not too stressed out on the day-to-day -day process. You know, we have an exciting weekend this weekend with the Drake Relays. It, it's always a, an event that the kids get the best competition, national-esque and, and better every year. Um, we were fortunate we have uh, Gamuchu. Bikelcho in the uh, 10K starting out Thursday night, and then Friday morning we've got the men's 4x1 and women's 4x1 starting out in the morning. Uh, the women's 4x2 in the early afternoon, and the men's 4x4 uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, what to expect? We're going to have great competition in our heat in all of our events. Our uh, kids are, are definitely ready to compete and definitely want to compete down there. Uh, you're always going to get uh, lifetime best, national best, caliber performances by everyone. So, and, and you're in front of a great crowd, which which helps elevate the performance. Um, then we have uh, kids that didn't qualify for that meet. We're heading to uh, it's called the Drake Alternative down at Davis State College, and it's going to be it's a really nice track, and, and there's some very good competition, conference level competition, which will help us prepare for conference here in a few weeks. Um, we'll have a lot of conference uh, opponents there, so it'll be good to see kind of where we where we stack up. And then um, starting Sunday afternoon, we already have the conference multi. Now, um, typically we both um, Riley and Laura would have had an opportunity to do a multi, but given the weather conditions, they haven't. But uh, right now they have all the um, all the signs that point that they're ready to go. The, uh, look, they both uh, PR'd in several events, both indoor and outdoor, and had a great weekend last weekend. <clears throat> and right now their bodies are feeling pretty well and they're ready to compete. And we'll be in Aberdeen, South Dakota, and it'll it'll be one of the best uh, conferences for the multi-events in the country between us and the MIAA. So we're going to get a national level performances there. So we're really looking forward to it.